for yeah. it, then you I start know, seeing then everything. It gets <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany Jennings coming to you live from the Seniors Blue Book. And this morning, I'm joined by the lovely Freya Robbins from the Financial Wellness Center. So welcome. Thank you very much. It's so nice to have you here. Oh, it's so much fun. We've actually been sitting here talking for like, I don't know, three hours now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so I guess we better get to work. So um, I wanted to spend a little time with you today to talk about the Financial Wellness Center and just some of the services you offer. And of course, you have some events coming up that we want to talk about. So sure. do you want to give a little background on the Financial Wellness Center and how it sure. came to be? Yeah, sure. So the Financial Wellness Center is a facility that is uh, an executive office suite, first of all. So we have offices for rent. Uh, we have a room that we rent out for events. And uh, we offer events here as well. And they're all events that are related to uh, emotional, financial, legal, physical wellness. Mm -hmm. And they're done in such a way that we want to invite the community in to learn. Uh, it's not to sell anybody anything. It's really just to educate. And that's our whole goal, that we feel like if we, if we help enough people get what they need, we end up getting what we need too, which is the, the feeling of satisfaction that we help people. Exactly. That's what yeah. it's all about. Yep, it really is. That's awesome. So what are, um, before we get into the events, and, and we'll definitely post those because they're, like she said, yes. they're free, and yep. some of the topics we were going through, um, you'll mention, are amazing. Yes. And I know that people will definitely be interested. What about the other things that you do in, under the umbrella of the Financial Wellness Center? Oh, so we have some businesses here. I have uh, Zollinger Mediation is here. It is uh, a family mediation business. So we do everything here from family mediation, elder mediation, prenuptial agreements, postnuptial agreements, and then uh, Robbins Financial Services is housed here as well. So we help people with any kind of financial needs. Uh, I'm uh, insurance license, uh, securities license, and I have my uh, special needs certification to assist special needs families. She does it all. It's like a large umbrella. It probably seems that way. <laughs> Not the small I'm, ones, but like the large ones. Yeah, and I and I have uh, I have a great team here, so uh, we we're uh, we're all excited about helping people, and we really we we're, we're a people helping people kind of business. Absolutely. So, yeah. so, what are some of the events that you have coming up? So, I have my uh, this is we put these uh, little flyers out every month. So we have probably two to three months uh, in, in a row. And if you are interested in any of the events, you can go to financialwellnesscenter.me. So for instance, we have one today that we have the wonderful Shell Cartmel coming. She is a divorce and wellness coach. And we're going to be talking about how to find peace in the midst of life's transitions. Mm -hmm. On March the 10th from 5.30 to 7.30, we're having a social security and Medicare workshop talking about what it's all about. Uh, and another interesting one is on March the 12th at 6 p.m. we're having a death cafe meeting, which is very interesting. It's any and all aspects of death uh, discussed in a safe space. So it's not necessarily a support group for someone who has just had a family member who has passed. That would be more for uh, Tidewell. Uh, but this is really just to talk about the death experience and what maybe what happened, maybe what we might want to do uh, or do differently. On uh, March 17th, we're having a life plan party. You know how uh, we ladies like to have scrapbook parties? Well, we're having a life plan party. And this really focuses on the special needs family and how do we create a life plan for our special needs loved one. And as most of us are so busy caring for our special needs uh, person, Oftentimes, we don't put into plan the things that we want to do to take care of them. And it, it, is, it really is a big undertaking, and a lot of us resist that. So what I said was, why don't we get together, bring your laptops, we'll work on it together. And so each meeting we have, you can work on that life plan a little more. I like that. It's kind of like a workshop. Yes, it is. It's just like a workshop. And uh, usually we have snacks and drinks and all these things, too. Um, March 18th, we have Prepare for the Inevitable. You and I talked about long-term care insurance, and the, the question we post under here is, what is long-term care, and why do I even care about it? I guess we're all headed 
towards that way, right? Well, I think the inevitable. Yes. I, and what I like to say is we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. And so many times in the busyness of life, we don't do the planning that we need to do to protect ourselves and our loved ones so that they're not left with the mess. We kind of keep saying, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll do it next week or next month. Yeah, or and if then, if this happens, I'll do it. But the problem is that one thing that we don't know about that is going to happen, whether it's a, a illness, a loss of job, a same thing for one of our family members, it will be too late when it happens to go back and correct it. And none of us think it's going to happen to us. Oh, it's not happening to me. Yes. Well, I, I, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the perfect one to say this. I was 25 years old and diagnosed with bone cancer. Wow. Yeah, that's what, that's what this is. 25 years old and diagnosed with bone cancer. I was the picture of health. I was active. I was playing racquetball tournaments. I was skiing. It couldn't possibly happen to me, but it did. It did, wow. and it does. Uh, so no one gets out alive. Uh, we, all, we all will get old. Um, so then that brings me to the next one, which is March 26th, and that session is, I don't want to talk about it. So not only do we sometimes fail to plan, but sometimes we have people in our life who say, mom, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I don't want to hear that you're going to die. I don't want to hear that, that something might happen. Exactly. We don't want to imagine that that would, that would happen, that that would be right. us. Right. So what we have is open dialogue about a, a myriad of things that might happen. And why do we have to talk about the things that we don't want to talk about? Well, because the alternative is if we don't, things are going to happen and we, we are going to be in a worse position and our family members are going to be in a worse position. So this really came about as a result of a conversation that I was having with my daughter when I said, Hey, honey, we need to talk about, you know, your brother and his epilepsy and what will happen when I'm not going to be around. And by the way, I'm not going to be around forever. <laughs> That's what she said. Mom, she said talk to the hand. <laughs> talk to the hand because the ears aren't listening. And I said, okay, honey. But so I thought, what a great idea. Let's have a time to talk about those things or, or to maybe even talk about how do I bring this up? Exactly. That's really, you know, how do I have this conversation with mm -hmm. my my daughter who's resisting or my or my mm -hmm. mother who doesn't want to talk about my dad's health or the reality and it's invaluable um, guidance it is and I, I you know what I, as a mediator I love to have difficult conversations I mean it sounds crazy but that's my gift mm -hmm. is helping people feel comfortable enough to start having those difficult conversations and then the last one that's scheduled in March is concerned parents corner and this is kind of a support group for any parents who either have a special needs child or are wondering what's wrong with my child. Like I'm concerned about the way they're acting. I'm concerned with maybe um, some anxiety issues or some ways that they're acting out and I need to talk to someone. So it's a great safe place to come and talk. I love it. I got a tour when I first came in. I got the grand tour of mm -hmm. the office. It's beautiful, but the conference room um, that you hold these events in is great. Yeah. So we're going to be planning some future events here with you, definitely. Yeah. Um, tell uh, all the wa the the watchers, <laughs> the viewers. I haven't had enough coffee. Tell us uh, where you're located here. So we're at thirty five eighty South Tuttle. We are in the Wyndham Allergy Building, and uh, if uh, you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I was just going to make a joke about what's going on in the world, but I won't. <laughs> yes. I'll keep that quiet. So um, if you know where the old real estate association building is, this is it. It's just south of the circle on Tuttle. Or if you come north from B Ridge, it's just past like TJ Maxx and Office Depot. Yeah, you can stop here and then go shopping. That's right. Why not? Just saying. And Dunkin' Donuts is down the street, so we always have uh, coffee and donuts. And we have coffee here, too. So, Well, awesome. Well, it's been great spending time with you here today. Um, I'll put all your information into the post right. so that people can reach out to you by phone if they want to have a consultation. That would be great. And um, we Consultations wish... are free. That's amazing. Did we mention that? No, we haven't yet. They are. They're free. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Well, again, this is Freya Robbins with the Financial Wellness Center, and we thank you so much for being here with us today. It was so great having you. I really enjoyed it. Well, thank you. All right. Come back. <laughs>